It's the fourth day, right? Fifth day of hunting. Fifth day of hunting. Fourth morning. We got beautiful conditions this morning. The high today is supposed to be like 70 some degrees and we finally got a couple birds on the ground yesterday. So pretty optimistic for today. They just have not been gobbling very good up to this point, but it is dead calm this morning and the temps are 37 degrees right now. It's gonna steadily warm up throughout the day, like I said, so turkeys ought to be gobbling, I would think. We're not gonna go on some wild goose chase five mile hike this morning though. We're gonna hunt fairly close to the road. There's a spot that, that I got in mind where we can get up over a creek bottom and listen for a long distance. a different one, wasn't it? That one's over there, this one's right here. It's not that far. I'm gonna go around that knob. They're gonna come through. Still trying to move on this turkey. He's gobbling straight across the ridge from us. 
And I've been looking for a flat spot to set up on this ridge. I don't know, he may come up here through these pines if I get up there and get to calling at him. It's still pretty thick. But he's right across from us over on that next ridge. By the time we got to the end of that ridge and made a setup, that turkey quit gobbling. I think he might have gobbled one more time. When those jakes started yelping and kind of half gobbling, he shut up. I'm assuming what we've got going on, we heard what sounded like two long beards together over here down the creek this morning. And they only gobbled a handful of times that we could hear hens in there with them. I'd assume they have a bunch of hens crowd. And this is the satellite bird that's been kicked off and these jakes and stuff are hanging out around the edge where he's at. Got a whole flock of them in here though, so we're gonna try to get out of here without boogering anything. They've, sh they've shut up, they haven't said anything for some time, so the end of this ridge, needless to say, didn't turn out like I was hoping it would. That turkey, we should have been on that ridge with him. But the bird like that that's probably getting whipped, you just need to let him settle back down and wait till he starts gobbling again because he probably will he was gobbling enough at some point this morning if he doesn't have a hen he's going to start up but when he does i want to be over on that ridge because this one's too thick to call him up on we're walking out right now from the morning hunt i just wanted to show you all this little bench on the side of this ridge you can see it right here below me and when you look at the topo map, it's very subtle difference, but you can see it. And right there on that little flat bench, there's a ton of scratching and stuff. There's a bunch of big oak trees right here that they can walk up this hill and roost in. And then they'll pitch down in the morning and they can feed on acorns on top of that bench just right above this creek. Anywhere where there's a little flat spot in the side hills where those turkeys are going to concentrate. I can see the scratching from here down in there real fresh stuff and we heard birds gobbling just just over the bench probably 200 yards down the creek this morning if they were to shut up like they are right now this would be a real good spot just to set up for a few hours mid-morning maybe catch one coming through quiet or call one up if he starts gobbling because they obviously like using that spot but we're gonna walk up this ridge go clear around and try to make a play on that gobbler that we've been chasing this morning coming around and get on this ridge with this gobbler and there's a truck parked over here. Never heard him shoot Georgia. I'm assuming that he's in there on that turkey. I would imagine so. They probably heard him. In. Zach and I have been driving around this morning, checking out some new areas, listening for goblin birds, and so far we've struck out. Ended up driving past this spot that we've been close at a couple times, and actually spotted a long beard right off the road. He's on private and he's headed towards public. Doesn't look like he has any hens, and he's heading right for the spot that we keep hearing him at every day. So we're trying to hustle in there and get set up and hopefully call him in. There's one specific spot that he just seems to end up at, and there's tons of scratching and sign in there. And so that's where we're headed. Hopefully he ends up in there too.
down in the bottom. Hundred yards, probably. While we were going real slow along this side hill, and you can see clear down in the creek bottom from here. We're just going along scratching, because that tom that we saw from the road is probably in this direction, not real far. And as we're going along, we just spotted like three jakes and a bunch of hens scratching, working along that creek bottom. It's gonna be a little bit tougher to get in here now, but we'll just keep taking our time and looking ahead. Hopefully, won't get busted by anything. noon and we just slipped in here after dodging those turkeys. We're set up on this big saddle that the turkeys seem to cross quite a bit. There's a ton of sign around here. We watched those turkeys that we saw on the way in cross this saddle right here and that tom we saw from the road was pretty much straight down from here. So we just decided to get in here and try and wait them out. Hopefully we'll have something come through. I can hear it drumming. Yeah. I hear it. It's coming from the left, it sounds like. Well, we've been sitting here for probably two and a half hours, maybe three, I think. And we had one reading the script. He was coming up right from the left, about to cross over the saddle, it sounded like. You were drumming and footsteps and everything. I ended up coming up pretty much dire directly to our left, a little bit behind us, and immediately busted. I think there was a hen in front of the tom. We could hear him drumming. and. Must have just been following that hit and she popped her head up and saw something and didn't like it and got out of here. So that's the way it goes, but it sucks. I mean, they're, we're in the shadows pretty good, but I think they, just the angle that they caught us on is just, yeah. it's just bad luck. The good news is I don't think that, like you said, I don't think that, that 
that Tom heard us. I mean, no, I don't mean. Or saw us. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. think that Tom saw us. I think he still is drumming. Yeah, he just kept drumming by. right when that were stopped. This spot has frustrated the heck out of both me and Zach. But there's lots of turkeys in here, and, and we're starting to really figure them out. So gonna have to be back in here tomorrow for sure. Just a matter of time until we get lucky. Where are you gonna go tomorrow? You going uh, right back to the same spot again? I don't know. Probably not in the morning, but maybe. Where are you going? I'm gonna go shoot this turkey, unless you do. You going with me? No, I mean, I'm going to shoot this turkey that we found this morning, mm. unless you go shoot him. Yeah, I'll You're go welcome to one. go shoot him. I mean, I but that's... mess around with this one. It's been giving us fits. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. It's been a challenging day. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh-huh. But Mike came by and cooked my turkey for me. That's pretty good, ain't it? That's real good, yeah. Yeah. We're starting to get a little worn down. What is this, day four, five, 17? They did gobble better this morning, though, than what I've seen, or heard so far, anyway. That turkey that we were on gobbled for an hour in the morning. Yep. One of these days. Yeah, what do you think of this stuff down here? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's not, I just thought it was gonna be a lot different, actually. Really? What'd you expect? Uh, to not hear you gobble. Yeah. That's what I expected. Uh, I mean, they're here. There's a lot of turkeys uh -huh. here. You know, and not unlike a lot of the public areas we hunt all except Arkansas. There's not very many turkeys there. But a lot of the public areas we hunt have plenty of birds. Mm -hmm. But this place has got a lot of hunters. And it's got some challenging terrain. Especially this time of year yeah. when they got a lot of hens and there ain't no cover. Yeah, that's so. one thing I've learned a lot about is the terrain. Yep. Got to use it to your advantage and get in tight to them and just hope luck falls your way eventually. But we're going to get some shut eye. Don't make fun of my thumbs up. <laughs> Always do that. Go. I don't know why. We got things to cover up. Yes, we do. See you guys.